Good morning, family. Good morning. I hope everybody is having a great and wonderful morning today. Today we're going to fellowship, talk about Christ, talk about Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, the King of Kings. Through Him we have everlasting life, the greatest blessing we could ever get. All right, here we go. Fixing, <clears throat> fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And that's coming from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. So... You know, he walked this earth for for 33 years. From the time he was 30 until he was 33, he went on his journey and, prefer, and performed countless miracles. Um, way more miracles than they talk about in the Bible. Um, you know, and once he once he died on the cross and was resurrected, he went to heaven and he now sits at the right hand of God, of Father God. He sits at the right hand of God's throne. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And that's coming from 1 John Chapter 4, verse 15. Again, I'm going to say, if anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God, which is the Holy Spirit. So we'll say the Holy Spirit lives in them and they in God. And again, that's coming from 1 John, chapter 4, verses 15. God is good, isn't he? God is good. Thank you. Thank you, God. For your grace, for your love, for your mercy. Just thank you. We love you. I love you. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. So Jesus is God. And that's coming from John chapter 10, verses 28 through 30. And I'll say it again. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the I and the Father are one. And again, that's coming from John chapter 10, verses 28 through 30. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. I'm going to say it again. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. And that's coming from Acts chapter 4 verse 12. So... You know, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. So, that's saying, only through Jesus Christ can we be saved. Only through the blood of Christ can we be saved. See, people don't understand... 
they don't get it. They say things like, well, my son is a good person. He's got a good heart. Wow, you know, God wouldn't send him to hell. But the kicker is is the blood. Just like um, when Moses came back to Egypt to free the Jew, to free his people to free the Jews out of slavery and take them to the promised land. When you know Pharaoh, if you read the story of Moses, you know he. He performed miracles with his with with his rod through God in front of Pharaoh to show him that his God was the true God. And one of the things that happened is that Pharaoh said that he was going to kill every firstborn. So God told Moses, well, I'm going to send a death angel and... Every firstborn child in Egypt will die. But if you cover your door with the blood of a lamb, then the angel will pass over you. So again, it, 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 the kicker is blood, you know, and that's why the old law, the Old Testament, you know there had to it wasn't working the sacrifices wasn't working so so God came up with a new plan and that's when he sent Jesus because only you know God in the flesh which is Jesus his blood was the only thing that could cover our sins you know so he did all that he, he sent himself in the flesh to be crucified by his own by, by the people he created. That's his love for us. So if you reject that, if you reject that, then you're not gonna make it. You're a goner. You know, we need to wake up and realize. Realize the blessing in that. The importance of that. The relationship Jesus wants. He wants a relationship with us. And if you confess with your mouth and you truly believe in your heart, you will be saved by his blood. Alright, I got two more. Two more for this morning. This is how God showed his love. Among us, he sent his one and only son into the world that, me, that we might live through him. I'm going to say it again. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. And that's coming from 1 John chapter 4 verses 9. And this is the last one. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I'm going to say it one more time. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Let's say it one more time, because this is so important. This is so important. This is the most important thing you can do in your life. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that's coming from Romans chapter 10, verses 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, 
and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verses 9. So if you confess with your mouth and you truly believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and was raised from the dead, you will be saved. You will have eternal life. You're going to heaven. You are now in the family. And it's a great thing. That is the most important decision you can make. It says in the word. It says in the Bible. Right here. This isn't a book. This is a weapon. This is a sword against the enemy. This is, this is God's breath on the paper. It says right here. No one knows in which the time that, that it's going to be when Jesus comes back. So be ready. Be ready. Again, I say this is the most important thing. The most important decision you can make, you know, and, and for people that haven't gotten there yet, and for people that just don't want nothing to do with it, I'm praying for y'all. Hopefully this message can help, can help somebody, can help come across to somebody so they realize how serious this is. So with that, you know, I'm going to leave with a prayer and we're going to end this thing. Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and be resurrected so that we may be made perfect through his blood. He paid the debt for our sin because we're all sinners. Without him, no one's making it to heaven. We thank you for that. That shows how loving you are, your mercy. Father God, I pray that if anyone does not have Jesus in their heart, may this message help them open their eyes so that they might step out of the darkness into the light and start the, to pick up their cross and walk and start their journey with Christ. God, I love you. And I'm praying that our family can grow and we can learn and fellowship together. Praying for blessings. I'm praying for people in need, people that are hungry, starving. May the Holy Spirit bless them. And I just want to say again, I love you. I thank you for all you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank y'all. And, uh, you know... When I pray, I say in Jesus' name I pray, but I'm praying as our, our family. So that's why I say in Jesus' name we pray. Because when I make these videos, it's for our family. Our family in Christ. We're brothers and sisters through Christ. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings. May God be with you. And uh, peace and blessings. Y'all have a great day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name.